Hello, I'm Grace Vandenberg, and this is my 2023 self-care regime revised. Consider this just a little check-in. Without self-care, we cannot be our best self. For ourselves, or those around us, and who need us. So 2023, I'm making some slight adjustments to my self-care routine. So here's just a brief rundown on how I've been doing it for the past month. We all need something that ignites the fire within us, that recharges us, rejuvenates us. So I've been working smarter to take the time to get my workouts in daily, prioritizing my workouts again as I've always done. However, in the past couple of years, that has slid to the wayside for the first time since a teenager. This year, my priority is to learn even more about health and wellness and nutrition and how I can keep myself in tip-top condition as the years go by. Because I think we can all agree that the older that we get, whether we like to admit it or not, it doesn't work quite the same. And so it becomes imperative to apply a new strategy and tactics. Also learning to keep a tight grip and all my thoughts to remain and sustain that strong, resilient self. So what I've been doing recently is this. Implementing the spa day at home. And yes, it can be done, and it can be done on a budget. We all need nourishing and nourishment from head to toe. So, every fourth day, I add oil to my hair and sleep in it overnight. And when I say I apply oil, I mean liberally and from root to tip. When I get up, I add a conditioner to this and leave for as long as I have available before having a hot shower. This combo has really brought my hair to life. I can both feel and see the difference. It's much shinier than ever. And this year's priority is certainly getting my hair in the greatest condition ever. <laughs> What I also do the night before my morning shower is apply a little olive oil to my cuticles, eyebrows and lashes, albeit very carefully. Before my shower, I apply a detoxifying face mask. And in between times, I use a pet egg on my little feetsies. And of course, after my shower, a mini manicure and pedicure. And before I shower and I've removed the face mask, I also spend 10 minutes on a facial steamer. Afterwards, I add a little more dry oil to my hair and allow my air dry, maybe 80-90% before using heat to style and give volume. And what really helps me, even as I work in a daily indulgence, is scented candles. And after a long day in front of the computer, to replenish the swelling around my eyes, I use eye patches. Recently, I've been loving the cucumber ones. If I skip this step, I feel the egg upon waking in the mornings. That's for sure. So I'm baking into this to my body and giving it what it needs. Otherwise, I heavily pay the price. I take the time to play the rain, storm and ocean sounds my husband bought for me on a DVD a few years back. I keep falling into the habit and out of the habit, but it really does do something lovely to my resting brain. So no doubt coming into February, this may potentially change again, but if it does, I will keep checking in and hopefully giving new keen ideas to implement into your daily routine too. So here I am wishing you a really happy indulgence. Until next time, I'm Grace Vandenberg.